Hey guys, welcome back. So first off, this is a collaboration video with a few other Panther car owners and it should be real interesting to get everyone's different point of view on this subject. So I recommend you stop watching this video and check out their links down below in the description for their videos. And I gotta give a shout out to Kusan2 for making this collaboration possible by asking a really good question on my video where I'm comparing my 04 Crown Vic to my 2010 Grand Marquis. And he wants to know, are there any upsides to the drive-by wire electronic throttle body? And what he's talking about is on the 04 and older Panther cars, they use a conventional, traditional throttle body. And then the 2005 to 2011 use the electronic drive-by wire. And real quick, uh, if you don't know what a throttle body is, I've got this uh, definition I came up with. And uh, a throttle body is a device that allows air into the engine that is connected to the accelerator pedal with a cable. And what is an electronic throttle body? Well, it's kind of the same thing except they got rid of the cable and then just added a few more sensors, one at the pedal and one at the uh, throttle body and it just does it electronically through an electronic signal. <clears throat> because they put a little mechanical motor in the throttle body. So uh, by now, uh, maybe you have uh, these three questions. Why do electronic throttle bodies exist? What are the pros and cons? And which one is better? Well, that last one is gonna be a little bit difficult to, to answer because, I mean, we could talk about this forever and I think it's gonna come down to preference, kind of like Coke or Pepsi or blonde or brunette. So I've come up with a, a few list of things that I think are pros and cons uh, based on my uh, driving my 04 Crown Vic and my 2010 Grand Marquis. <clears throat> so I've got five things I want to talk about. The first one is uh, uh, electronic throttle bodies may lower vehicle production cost. They may reduce uh, system complexity. Uh, they may increase reliability and they provide greater computer control. So uh, number one, the reason why I number one, the reason why I say they may uh, lower vehicle production cost is because on the 2005 to 2011 Panther cars, there is no um, idle air control motor and there is no cruise control uh, actuator motor. And the reason why <clears throat> they don't need those two devices is because now, uh, because there's an electronic motor built into the throttle body, the PCM can automatically adjust the idle uh, for, uh, for almost uh, any type of condition, whether it be cold or whatever. And uh, of course, there's no need for a cruise control motor because, uh, again, it's got that motor built into the throttle body and they can just control it with the PCM. <clears throat> so by going to a fly-by-wire electronic throttle body, they've eliminated two components, and those two parts, uh, they don't seem like they cost a lot, but you know, times that by a million or whatever it is, you know, it comes out to a lot. And then of course, uh, the time to install those two devices on the uh, assembly line is probably a lot. A lot of time savings in building the car. So number two, I said it may reduce uh, system complexity. Well, that's kind of the above reason I just said. You know, fewer components, uh, fewer things to fail. So that's why I said that. And then number three, uh, it may increase fuel economy. And the reason why I say that is because now that the uh, the throttle body can work. Uh, almost independent from the the pedal uh, the throttle body can sometimes outsmart the driver and uh, drive it more efficiently than what uh, a person can and uh, also uh, be I, I can't really talk about the electronic throttle body without talking about the 4R70 5e transmission uh, which kind of works hand-in-hand with the electronic throttle body and um, 
when I got my uh, 2010 Grand Marquis, the first thing I, one of the first things I did is I went to that website called uh, fueleconomy.gov and I put in my 04 Crown Vic and the 2010 uh, Grand Marquis. And across the board on city, highway, and combined, uh, every single figure it got one mile per gallon better on all three categories. And I started going through my cars and figuring out, you know, how they were able to accomplish that. And I've come up with three reasons. And uh, number one is the different tire size. Uh, the, my newer car uses the 225-60-17, and the older car uses the 225-60-16. So it's about an inch taller uh, tire. Uh, the second thing is the transmission, of course, or again, the, the newer one has the 4R75E and the older one has the 4R70W. And last but not least, the throttle bodies. Uh, the newer one's got the electronic one and the older one has the conventional. Um, <clears throat> so number four uh, may increase reliability. Uh, this one I, I'm not too sure about, but uh, I can remember back in the day, uh, snapping throttle cables was a thing. Maybe that was due to their uh, poor construction or the way they were designing them, but uh, periodically they would break and they would need to be replaced and uh, or they would wear out. But uh, I guess you could say the same thing about the electronic throttle bodies, about the sensors and whatnot. So not too sure about that one. And uh, last but not least, um, uh, they provide greater computer control. So uh, there's this should be real interesting. I bet a lot of people are going to talk about this and I'm just going to talk about three uh, things. So the first interesting thing uh, about the electronic throttle body is I learned from um, Ford Tech Make You Loco. He said they have an ice breakage strategy and what he's talking about is when the car is parked uh, just sitting there doing nothing uh, if the uh, ambient temperature sensor uh, falls below a uh, freezing condition, the throttle body can do a uh, full sweep uh, maneuver to uh, make sure that it's freeing itself so it doesn't get frozen in place. So when you come out in the morning and you start the car, uh, you'll be actually be able to drive it. Uh, the butterfly won't be frozen solid in the uh, throttle body. So I thought that was pretty neat. And the, uh, the second thing is uh, traction control. Uh, on, my old, on my very first Panther car, I had a 2000 Crown Vic, and it had traction control with that hidden button in the uh, glove box. And how that system works is it just works off a wheel speed sensor, and when it detects uh, slip, it just applies the brakes, and uh, might even uh, shut off the fuel injectors, I'm not sure. But with the new uh, electronic throttle body, it can uh, do all of that and it can actually close the throttle, uh, close the butterfly in the throttle so that you don't have your foot in it uh, while you're losing control around a turn because there's too much power uh, going to the rear wheels for an oversteer condition. So having that extra, extra degree of uh, control to close the throttle as soon as the wheels detect slip uh, that can uh, intervene the track control a little bit sooner and a little bit quicker and maybe provide a little bit more safety. And uh, last but not least, uh, the self-calibration. Uh, that's pretty neat. Uh, when you disconnect the battery um, and it clears all of the uh, keep alive memory and all of the um, learned uh, values, uh, it can uh, self-calibrate itself by just driving normally for 10 or 15 minutes. And uh, that's uh, kind of neat because back in the day, if your throttle body got out of whack, uh, you know, way back in the day, in the, in the days of idle mixture screws and, and idle screws, you had to adjust it and it was uh, somewhat finicky. And then sometimes uh, you would get it misadjusted and that's going to make your fuel economy go down and your emissions go up. So by having it all self-calibrate each other, uh, that really uh, uh, helps out a little bit. And uh, one, one last thing I want to mention is that with an electronic throttle body, um, uh, on our cars, uh, sometimes you may experience a, a, light, a slight delay or a lag in uh, throttle response. 
So there's this product called uh, Sprint Booster V3. And I've left a link down below to my man uh, Jay from Car Guys New England. And it's basically an electronic device that you can uh, plug in uh, in between the, uh, the throttle position sensor on your accelerator pedal and the throttle body and then you can adjust it uh, to tune it to your preference uh, to make up for that slight lag so that's kinda neat to have that tunability and uh, of course on a conventional uh, throttle body on my 04 Vic you know there is no throttle uh, lag or delay it's uh, almost instantaneous as soon as you touch the pedal you get uh, some kind of good feedback okay uh, that's pretty much it I want to thank the guys for uh, taking time out and making videos uh, for this collaboration and don't forget to head down below and uh, check out their videos uh, that's pretty much it thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye bye